Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at virtual machines for Azure Cheat Sheets. So let's jump into it. So Azure Virtual Machines allows you to create Linux and Windows virtual machines. The size of the virtual machine is determined by the image. The image defines the combination of VPC use, memory, storage capacity. The current limit on a prescription is 20 VMs per region. VMs are billed at an hourly rate. A single instance VM has an availability of 99.9% .9 when all storage disks are premium. Two instances deployed into availability set will give you 99.5%. 95% availability. You can attach multiple managed disks to an Azure VM. When you launch an Azure virtual machine, other networking components will be either created or associated to your virtual machine, uh, such as NSGs, interface cards, uh, IPs and VNet. You can bring your own Linux um, by creating your own virtual hard disk. Uh, Azure VM comes with a variety of sizes that are also uh, optimized for specific use cases. And there's a lot of different ones here. Uh, so it's not super important, but I mean, you should know the broad categories here. Uh, Azure Compute Unit ACU provides a way of comparing uh, CPU performance across Azure SKUs. And the standard one, that uh, the one they're all benchmarked against is standard A1. All other SKUs uh, then represent approxim uh, approximately how fast faster the SKU can run on the standard benchmark. You can install the Azure mobile app so you can monitor your VMs on the go. Uh, Hyper-V is Microsoft's hardware virtualization product. It lets you create and run software versions of a computer called virtual machines. That's how it all works. There are two types or two generations of Hyper VM. You got generation one, which works with most operating systems, and generation two that supports most 64 bit versions of Windows and current versions of Linux and FreeBSD uh, uh, operating systems. Uh, Hyper V uh, VMs are packaged into virtual hard disk formats such as VHD, VHDX files. Not on the exam, but just understand that uh, Hyper VM generations are different from the Azure Hyper VM generations. So it doesn't have all the features of Hyper VM, okay? There are three ways to connect to virtual machines. The first is via a secure shell. It's not sure shell, it's secure shell. Um, but uh, yeah, so that'll have to get fixed at some point. SSH happens on port 22 uh, and RSA key, key pairs are commonly used for authorized access. Then you have RDP, which is a graphical interface to connect to another computer over the network connection. This is how you can remotely connect to the Windows server via virtual desktop. This happens on port 3389 on TCP and UDP. Now, I, I mark these red because I want you to remember these two, so make sure you know them, okay? Uh, Azure Bastions, and we'll clear that because now it's getting a bit of a mess here. There we go. So Azure Bastions, uh, Azure Bastion, a service you can deploy, lets you connect to a virtual machine using your browser and Azure portal, supports both SSH and RDP, useful when you only have a browser like a Chromebook or do not have permission to configure or install software. Then you have update management. This allows you to manage and install operating system updates and patches for both Windows and Linux virtual machines that are deployed in Azure on-premise or in other cloud providers. Update management will perform a scan or update compliance. A compliance scan by default is performed every 12 hours on a Windows and three hours on a Linux machine that can take between 30 minutes and six hours for the dashboard to display updated data from the managed computer. So there you go. That is the virtual machines cheat sheet.